Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, let's get ready. We're, <clears throat> we're going to be doing some uh, prosperity confessions today. So we'll probably do about maybe 15 minutes of it. So get ready for these confessions. Let me read a couple of scriptures to you first before we get started. And thank God for each and every one of you that tune in. But sometimes people don't think that God wants you to prosper. Let's go over here to the book of Joshua, <clears throat> chapter 1 and 8. And then I'm going to read one scripture from the New Testament in 3 John chapter, uh, 3 John 1 and uh, 2. But this is uh, Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, <clears throat> but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. You're going to make your way prosperous. God wants us to prosper. Don't let nobody feed you anything different that God don't want you to prosper. God wants us to prosper. What, what, what does it look like? We serving the almighty God that owns the cattle upon a thousand hills and the streets in heaven are paved is, is gold. I mean pure gold that you can see through why would god want us to live on earth busted disgusted and can't be trusted amen so god want us to prosper people when you talk about healing they have no problem with it talk about joy you have no problem with it talk about peace have no problem but soon as prosperity is mentioned oh they, all they want is my money and you probably don't have any because you don't you don't you, don't, you haven't learned the principles of the kingdom of god but let me finish reading the scripture it said, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. God put prosperity in our hands. He said, You will make your own way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Now let's go over to uh, 3 John, and then we're going to do some prosperity confessions and be empowered by these life and death is in the power of your tongue so whatever we confess out of, out of our mouth is what's we what we're going to see uh manifest in our lives amen because life and death is in the power of your tongue when you release it out of your mouth you're going to get some results from the word of god you can't speak god's word and don't get no results in the book of uh third john uh chapter one and verse two he said, Beloved, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Sounds like God wants us to prosper again and be in health. He's concerned about our health. He's concerned about our financial condition. Even as that soul prosper, even our emotions and our desires, he's concerned about the whole man. Thank God for being concerned about us. Prosper. He wants us to prosper. We can we can do more for the king. Actually, we can do more for people when we are prospering. Amen. So let's get ready now. And we're going to do some uh, confessions. So what we do, what I'm going to do, all you have to do is repeat these after me. You just say exactly what I say right behind me. I'll give you a, a space to make sure you get to say it and I won't rush it because I'm not in no big hurry. All right. So you just repeat after me. Genesis 12 and 2, God has blessed me abundantly, and I am a blessing. 
Genesis 39 and 3. The Lord makes all that I do prosper in my hand. Genesis 39 and 23. Because the Lord is with me, <clears throat> all that I do prospers greatly. Numbers 14 and 8. The Lord delights in me. He has brought me into a land that flows with milk and honey. Deuteronomy 2 and 7. For the Lord my God has blessed me greatly in all the works of my hand. Deuteronomy 7 and 9. God is faithful. He keeps his covenant and mercy to them that love him. Deuteronomy 7.13 God loves me, blesses me, and multiplies me abundantly. Deuteronomy 7.14 I'm blessed above all people. Deuteronomy 8, 6 through 9 God has brought me into a good abundant land. I eat without scarceness and do not lack any good thing. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 8.18. God has given me power to get wealth so his covenant can be established. Deuteronomy 12 and 7. I rejoice in all I put my hand to because God has blessed me greatly. Deuteronomy 15 and 6. For God has blessed me as he promised, and I will lend to many and not borrow. Thank you, Lord. Deuteronomy 26 and 9. God has brought me into this place. He has given me this land that flows abundantly with milk and honey. Deuteronomy 28 and 2. All the blessings of Abraham have come on me in abundance and overtaken me. Thank you, Lord. Deuteronomy 28, 3 through 6. I am blessed in the city and in the, in the field. Blessed are my children and the fruit of my ground. Blessed are my checking and saving accounts. I am blessed when I rise and when I sleep. I am blessed when I come in and when I go out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We some blessed people. Hallelujah. Be the God. Don't let nobody tell you that God don't want you to be blessed financially. All these scriptures backing up his plan and what he's saying about it. And whatever God says about it, I say about it. Praise be to God. Deuteronomy 28 and 8. The Lord has commanded the blessings on me and my storehouse and on all I set my hands to do. He has blessed me abundantly in this land. Deuteronomy 28 and 11. God has made me plentiful in goods. My check account, my bank account, everything I put my hands to. My body, the fruit of my body, everything I touch is increased abundantly. Deuteronomy 28 and 12. God has opened his good treasure to give rain to my land and bless all the work of my hand. I will lend and not borrow. Deuteronomy 28, 13. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. Deuteronomy 29 and 9. I keep the words of God's covenant and I do them. I prosper in all that I do. Deuteronomy 30 and 9. 
God has made me plenteous in every good work of my hand, in the fruit of my body. Deuteronomy 30, 15 through 16. God has set this day before me, and I choose life and abundance. Thank you, Lord. Joshua 1 and 7. I am strong and courageous. I turn not to the right or the left. I prosper wherever I go. Joshua 1 and 8. The word makes my way prosperous and makes me abundantly successful. Confess these now. Don't just be listening. Confess them along with me so that you can activate those, those uh, prosperity uh, scriptures into your life and see the manifestation of prosperity take place. So don't just listen, but repeat after me. Confess these things along with me so that you can prosper according to the word of the Lord. 1 Samuel 2, 7. The Lord makes me abundantly rich and lifts, lifts me up. 1 Kings 2 and 3. I keep the word and I prosper in all that I do. Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 12. Wisdom and knowledge is granted to me and God gives me riches. I'm going to say that one again. Wisdom and knowledge is granted to me and God gives me riches, wealth, and honor in abundance. Second Chronicles 20 and 20. I believe God's prophets and I prosper. Second Chronicles 26 and 5. As long as I seek the Lord, he makes me prosperous. Job 22, 24 through 25. I lay up gold as dust. And have plenty of silver because I have delighted in the Almighty God. I'm going to say it again. I lay up gold as dust and have plenty of silver because I have delighted myself in the Lord God Almighty. Job 36 and 11. Obey and serve God. I obey and serve God, and I spend my days in prosperity and my years in pleasure. Psalms 1, 1 and 2. I am blessed because I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, but I delight in the law of the Lord. Oh, I feel prosperity coming on. I feel financial increase coming up on you right now. I feel it coming into your life in Jesus' name. Psalms 1-3. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth my fruit in season. My leaf does not wither and everything I do prospers abundantly. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalms 5 and 12. Are you repeating this with me? Are you confessing these along with me? The Lord blesses me, and his favor is around me like a shield. Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I am not in want. I am walking and living in abundance in every area of my life. Psalms 23 and 6. Goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life. Psalms 34 and 10. Because I seek the Lord, I do not lack any good thing. Psalms 37 and 4. I delight myself in the Lord, 
and he gives me the desires of my heart. Psalms 35 and 27. Let the Lord be magnified who takes pleasure in my abundant prosperity. Psalms 40 and 4. I am abundantly blessed because I, because I trust in the Lord. Psalms 66 and 12. God has brought me into his wealthy place. Psalms 68 and 19. God daily loads me with his abundant benefits. Psalms 84 and 5. I am blessed because my strength is in the Lord. Psalms 84 and 4. I am blessed because I dwell in the house of the Lord. Psalms 85 and 12. The Lord has given me that which is good. And everything I touch yields abundantly and increase without stopping. Psalms 105 and 24. God has increased me mightily and made me stronger than my enemies. Psalms 105 and 37. God has brought me forth with silver and with gold. Got a few more to go and then I'm going to let you go. We'll, we'll do some more at another time. Psalms 112 and 1. I'm blessed because I fear the Lord and delight greatly in his commandments. Psalm 112 and 3. Wealth and riches are in my house. Psalms 115 and 13. God blesses them that fear him, both small and great. Psalms 115 and 14. The Lord has increased me more and more, me and my children. Psalms 116 and 7. The Lord has dealt bountifully with me. Psalms 118 25. And have two more and we'll finish for today. Thank you, Lord, for sending prosperity now. Psalms 119 and 2. I am blessed because I keep his testimonies and seek him with my whole heart. Psalms 122 and 7. Peace is within my walls and prosperity is in my home. Amen. I pray that you just confess those, those uh, uh, confessions of prosperity and power, and power in your life with the prosperity scriptures. You're saying and repeating what God says, what God says, you can say it, and it shall manifest in your life. Amen. So keep on. You're welcome to come back to this site anytime you get ready, get these uh, prosperity and just go over and over and over. Don't just do it one time and stop. Make it a habit and just do it over and over consistently, and it becomes a part of your life. You're activating the word of God. You're activating it, and it's going to manifest for you. And you're going to see God move on your behalf in the area of financial prosperity, mental prosperity. Uh, see, so prosperity comes in many ways, but he does. God is want you and I to prosper financially. So don't let nobody tell you anything different. Don't let no preacher, no pastor, no prophet, no apostle, nobody tell you anything different. God wants you to prosper. God do not need, uh, 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 how can he build up his kingdom? If we, as the body of Christ, don't prosper. Amen. We can't do it poor. So we need finances to promote the kingdom of God, to build up the kingdom of God, to reach the lost, to do things in the body of Christ, to help one another. Amen. Praise be to God. So thank you once again for tuning in. I appreciate you. 
so very much. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, until tomorrow, we'll just say thank you for tuning in. We love you. I love you. Jesus loved you. I love you. May God richly bless you. It's my prayers. And until the next time, remember this. Remember this. Now, one more thing. Why not sow a seed on the confessions that you, or on those confessions that you made today and activate it? Get it started now. Sow a seed. Our cash app is there, dollar sign, LCCM2140. And you can text, just follow the, uh, the crawl, and all the information is right there. So until the next time, don't you never, ever forget this. Don't you call it the way you see it. Call it the way you want it to be. God bless you. I love you. Peace.